Praise be Jesus and Mary. Ignorance of Scripture is ignorance of Christ, according to the words of St. Jerome. We can also say that ignorance of Christ is ignorance of Scriptures. We hear in today's Gospel our Lord saying, You search the Scriptures because you think you have eternal life through them. Even they testify on my behalf. He was telling those who meticulously studied scripture that they miss the point and its meaning because they reject him. The mystery of Christ is the key that unlocks the mystery of the scriptures. And the church has always exhorted its faithful to read the scripture according to the spirit with which it was written, the spirit being the Holy Spirit. And it has given three very concrete indications to do, though, to, to do so. The first is to be attentive to the content and the unity of the whole scripture. The Bible is just not one book, it is a library. Different books, different genres, different historical contexts. But it all recounts one divine story. Its unity comes from the unity of God's plan, centered and fulfilled in Christ. Second criteria it gives is to read scripture within the living tradition of the whole church. This is its proper context. And the church in its living tradition carries the living memory of the living word of God. And it's from there that we have to draw. The third criteria is to be attentive to the analogy of faith. What does that mean? To be attentive to the coherence of the different truths of faith. So for example, we cannot tamper with the doctrine of original sin, something we read in Genesis, without tampering with the mystery of redemption, something that permeates the whole New Testament. So we have to read scripture according to the spirit with which it is written. This is our book, and it's something that we should cherish. At the same time, it's important to point out that Christian faith is not the religion of the book. Catechism tells us that it is the religion of the word of God. And Christ is the eternal and living word of God that opens our minds and hearts to understand the scriptures. So ignorance of Christ is ignorance of the scriptures, and ignorance of the scriptures is ignorance of Christ. So let us continue to read sacred scriptures according to the spirit with which it was written. Because as St. Ambrose says, when we pray, we speak to God. But when we read sacred scriptures, God speaks to us. Praise be Jesus and Mary.